Hey everybody, Alex J here for MusicMastermind.tv. In this video, I'm gonna talk about using Pirate Cracked plugins versus the real deal official plugins for your DAW. Although I don't really encourage downloading any illegal software versions, not to mention it's punishable by law and jail is no fun, I do see how it would be attractive for a lot of you, as it was for me when I got started, to go ahead and search for illegal versions online. To be completely honest, I know it's super easy to find a lot of expensive software downloads online through sites with BitTorrent and RapidShare links or via Reddit. And until very recently, most software companies did have a hefty price tag on their software developments. This forced most people like us into looking for alternatives to download them illegally just to get familiar with them. Most software companies offer a 30-day free trial, which is a nice way to get your feet wet with any plugin you're interested in, but even then, does it make sense to pay a big chunk of cash for them? One thing to keep in mind though is that by downloading any illegal software versions, you're financially hurting the companies and the people in them that are working extra hard in developing these plugins for us. It might even hurt them so much that they might have to resize their structures, fire people, making it super hard for them to be able to compete and survive in the aggressive music software development market. This sucks for everybody, so don't be a pirate and download illegal software versions. That being said, some smart companies like Slate Digital, for example, have adopted a new model, which I think is the way to go in the future of software development, and that is packaged memberships. So what's that about? For a very affordable monthly payment, you get access to a lot of incredible software devs bundled together, which would normally be very expensive for us, the consumers, if we purchased them standalone. Doing this not only enables the growth of the company's user base, but also gives us, the users, flexibility to test out different software developments and keep us even more engaged with the company's offerings. This is brilliant and will keep users engaged for a longer period of time. So all you big software development companies wanting us to overpay your stuff, that doesn't make sense. Don't play yourselves. By constantly releasing new updates, add-ons, and extra plugins, development companies can help justify the user's monthly investment and prevent piracy, which will probably make the company even more money and keep us as happy campers with the flexibility of low monthly payments for the products we're really interested in. Another really interesting thing to me is that most people think that they need a lot of plugins to get the job done, which is not at all the case. Realistically, most pros will usually engage in between 5 to 10 plugins to get the job done. Downloading a complete huge suit of plugins won't make a difference since honestly, you won't probably use or try half of them anyways. So guess what? The best practice if you want to go through the plugin buying route is to try the ones you like. And if they're really for you, then buy them if you can afford them. If you want to try a lot of plugins at the same time, then go for a company with a membership model, and if they're not for you, then it's as simple as canceling your membership for the following month. That way you can spend your money wisely while you get familiar with the tools you like. So that's my view on using real versus crack plugins for your DAW. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. Visit us on the web at www.musicmastermind.tv and create your free membership to gain access to this and many more incredible videos regarding advanced recording, mixing, and production of music happening right here inside the professional high-end studio environment. There's a lot of really cool content that you won't see anywhere else. That's it for now, but I'll see you very soon. Alex J, over and out.